Okay, calculators to the ready. Time to calculate, do some calculations with energy flow. Um, so, how might this data be presented to you? It might be presented, um, let's flash them along, a little box, set of little boxes there with arrows in and out showing where the energy is going. Uh, it could be presented to you as a pyramid of energy which occasionally has sunlight on this as well. Uh, it could be presented to you like one of these horrid, horrid diagrams. So, what do we need to remember about uh, calculating percentages? A percentage, and this is the big math secret, effectively, you put the small number over the big number and multiply it by 100. And that, that will pretty much give you a percentage. So if we look at um, one of these diagrams here, we've got, um, I'll just do it a bit bigger for you. So we've got our solar energy coming in and we're given some values. We've got 1,970,000, so 1,970,000 usually units, kilojoules, per metre squared per year and that is going down into our plant and we're told that the stuff that the plant doesn't use is 1,946,820 1, kilojoules per metre squared per year. So, we can work, work out there the percentage of efficiency of transfer. So that would be the little number, it's particularly little, 1946820 over the solar energy coming in and then multiply by 100. And that will give us the efficiency of photosynthesis. So, calculator out. 1946820 divided by 1970123 equals, multiplied by 100 equals, so we're losing. So the loss is 98.82%, which means the percentage efficiency then is 100 minus 98.82, which equals, and this is with <coughs> astonishingly small, 1.0. So that means that that plant is fixing only 1% of the solar energy. And that, of course, just refer you to the last video, represents the gross production. To work out the actual number for gross production, all we have to do from that is take 1,970,000 and remove from it the stuff that we've lost. Whatever we're left with is what we've gained. So 1970 minus 1946820. Oh, put a minus sign in there somehow randomly. 1970123 minus 1946820. So gross production, 23,180. And presumably if we did that as a percentage from the solar radiation, we'd get this. So divided by 1970, times 100, there we go, 1.18%. So this is the plant, this is the total energy that the plant has fixed. And 
If we then know what we've lost in respiration, so in this case, uh, three, six, six, eight, then we can work out the net production. How do we do that? So, net production. is GPP minus respiration. So in this case, 23180 minus 3668. Uh, 19,512. Now obviously we could work out what the percentage of our gross production is. So percentage of the gross production used in respiration would be little number over big number times 100 231 0 and 100 15.82% so that means that 15% of everything fixed has been used in respiration what can happen to your net production then is that it can be passed on to the next trophic level because it can be eaten or of course the leaf might not be eaten and might just end up on the floor in with the decomposers. Remember, think about what you're doing, you're recognising gross production, net production and you should be able to calculate percentages of transfer from anywhere to anywhere. So that's not a desperately difficult uh, concept. Sometimes you will see, and I'll just uh, a new piece of paper I think to do this, sometimes what you'll see is the energy flow being done as a sort of a, a series of boxes going from one place to another and you might have your solar energy coming in here The key thing to remember is that what comes out of your box, so it might be that the solar energy, this is the not used, you can use those to calculate your GPP, which would be solar minus not used. You then also of course got the res respiration losses. And you might have a figure for going to decompose this. Which allows you then to work out what can be passed on to the, onto the next level, what has been passed on to the next level. If you've got these kind of boxy diagrams with an in and some outs, remember that all of those three arrows, so A, B and C, have to add up to what's going in. It's, you know, there isn't any easier maths than ecological maths, really. Um, and when we get to the next trophic levels, I'll do some more examples of that.